Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, I'm gonna to talk about a way to incorporate some type of drill through like functionality using a click action in a table. Now, a client had a request where they didn't wanna use a right click option to be able to drill through to a page. They instead wanted a single direct left click to be able to get that. Now, I figured out a way to configure some URLs onto the table itself. So kind of like you see here, where there's a table that has some hyperlinks built into these values that has some filters that then take you to the drill through page as a navigation experience. Now there are some considerations for this. As you will see, it does open up a secondary window. So we'll talk about some of the pros and cons of this and just some conversations around different approaches to certain functionalities in Power BI. So given those things in context, let's go ahead and hop into Power BI Desktop and see how I did this. So per a client request, they wanted a matrix table where you could select essentially a row, but without having to use the right click context menu. So my solution to this was figuring out potentially how to use a URL, which you can see here, if we take a look at the end of this string actually has filters that are being applied either at the color and class level for two columns or at the higher level is a single column for class with a filter being applied to it using a dynamic measure string. Now, if you click this, it will open up a page and take you as a navigation experience to that with those filters applied. Here you can see class equals regular. We close this and come back to the main page and I click on a lower level in the hierarchy. It will open up that page and instead have class equals regular and color equals black. So both filters are now coming through. Now again, the disadvantage of this, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is that there is no way to have a URL command or action in Power BI that does not open up an additional window. I did also consider the idea of maybe having a button that could somehow trigger a tab close command, but unfortunately, even exploring custom visuals in Power BI, nothing has the ability to close the window. So technically, it's still one click to go back to the previous page, so not too different in that experience, from clicking a back button. So instead of coming up to the back button that you would have onto a page, in this case, the back button here to go to the previous page, instead to go back, you would simply close the tab. But it's a consideration to have in terms of that user experience. The pro is that you have a single click here instead of a right click and dual click, so it's more discoverable. But then the downside is you open up a tab each time you do this. So from the delivery perspective, we've seen the requirements where the client wanted something more discoverable and easier to go to the page with a set of filters. We've also seen some considerations on the fact that it opens up new tabs, which just cannot be avoided. And there is not really any way to easily close one from a button directly on the report page, but considerations to have in terms of whether or not this would be useful or if you'd want to implement it. But with a lot of alternative ways to navigate, there are usually going to be pros and cons for those approaches. But now that we've seen the end result of how it's delivered to the end user, let's go ahead and hop into the model and also see how we can build this. So one of the things that I want to point out up here is the URL that has a specific page string related to the page that we're on. Now this will be required to be able to take the string out of the web experience and put that into Power BI because each page in an app has a custom string for the report that we can see here that is a unique identifier for the report itself. And then this section is a unique identifier for the actual report page. Now let's go ahead and hop into Power BI Desktop and see how to incorporate this. So what I have here is the DAX measure that is essentially creating the concatenated dynamic string that will allow that URL navigation built into the table. Now, the first part that I wanna mention here at the top is the drill through page. Now for me to actually have been able to get this report section unique identifier, I initially published this with this page unhidden so then I could navigate to that page to grab this initial string. That way I was able to put it into the model. And then after I fetched this base string that we saw once I published this to the web, that I again came back to this, hid this, and I started to use this in the measure. So I start with this concatenation here at the very beginning. So there's that drill through page here, and that is specified down here. Now you can also notice that I have a capture of the class filter and the color filter, which is the filter for sales class and sales color. So essentially I do a check, has one value sales color. So that is the lower level of the hierarchy. So if I'm at this lower level, which is a filter for both class and color, if I hover over this, you can see right here that there is a concatenated string of these two columns with filters being applied to it. If I go to the higher level, it is only filtering on class. So you can actually create your string 
to be intelligent and detect which level of the hierarchy you're at. So that is what my check for has one color. Then it does the longer string where there's the filter for class with the little qu single quote plus the class filter, another single quote, the concatenating and here to do sales color for the table and column again with that same syntax to apply the color filter. Otherwise, just apply that class filter. So that here is then being used in the table itself. I'll close this, come to the table, and the application of this is as simple as coming to any of the measures that we have here, conditional formatting, web URL, and then you point it to that. So this will be applied, and then again, once published, these can be clicked to navigate to that page. So you can make this as simple or as complex as you need to, given the shape and design of the table or matrix table that you're using in Power BI. Now on the page itself for marketing details, I do add a bit of design. So I have a card up here at the top that is using this with a similar process to just show the context of what filters have been applied. So it does a check. If there is one filter for sales color, meaning I've drilled in from the lower level, do a concatenation of the class, whatever the class is with a color as well for that color, just so we can keep context so people can see what the filters have been applied between the two pages. So let's go ahead and wrap up and observe this one more time in the Power BI service. I'm gonna go ahead and come to class of regular and let's do blue. I'm gonna select that, go to that page. You can see class is regular and the color is blue. So that context is being kept. So it keeps an awareness of what the filters were coming from this page as you go from page one to two. Now, considering that this is a unique solution to a unique business scenario, this might be something that you can take pieces away from. It gives you consideration to the art of possible of how many different ways people can navigate in Power BI. And it also shows you that you can apply filters into a URL as well. Now the documentation for that from Microsoft on how to apply filters and the strings needed and the parts of the code for that URL are gonna be down below. So go ahead and check out that Microsoft doc if you wanna learn how to do those custom URLs. That's where I got this information and script from essentially. But otherwise, hopefully this has a takeaway from you. If you see other uses for this or other ways to utilize it or modify it, drop that into the comments down below. But otherwise, if you liked this video, check out some of our related videos up here in the upper left. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And otherwise, I will see you all in my next video.